Hey guys, so after my last two videos featuring GPT plus VCV, I saw many comments expressing mixed feelings about the AI, such as very impressive and underwhelming at the same time, or AI is archontic intelligence, pure cloning, human knowledge, never something better, or has anyone asked ChatGPT how to murder your wife and spend the insurance on your rack? One user even wrote a great essay in his comment, to which another user responded with another great essay, except the second essay looked a bit suspicious to me. So I pasted the whole thing into AIWritingCheck.org and the website told me there is 90% chance this text was written by the AI. To be fair, a few hours later, the user who made that prank named Tanning Kruger admitted it was all written by ChatGPT. Oh, and by the way, inspired by Tanning Kruger, I'm also disclosing that. For example, right now it's not me who is talking to you, but the AI trained on two hours of my voice. But anyway, let's get real again. As you can imagine, after reading all these comments, my mind was spinning and I was trying to organize my own thoughts. So I decided to take a closer look. It turns out that most of these mixed feelings expressed in the comments section fall into two broad categories. Number one, the AI is just a machine. And two, it's unreliable. So let's start from point number one. Supercharged wrote that GPT's magic is done entirely by a word prediction based on the huge amount of imported text from various sources, which is true. And that a lot of the answers you're getting are basically straight bullshit, which is totally true. Thank you for saying it. And it will lie to your face and feel no remorse. Well, it's also true, but here's what really grabbed my attention. Remorse. Interestingly, that was not the only comment that mentioned remorse. And to be perfectly clear, I'm not trying to mock any of the comments mentioned in this video. In fact, I was really impressed by their quality. Most of these comments resonated with me. And they also got me thinking. Have you ever heard anybody complaining about Roland 303 base machine having no remorse? Or accusing Behringer emulations of lying to your face, impersonating that people and straight out identity theft? I guess not, right? Because all synthesizers are just machines. Well, so is GPT and Midjourney and other LLMs, transformers, diffusion models. They are nothing more than algorithms run on giant machines. And just because they mimic our behavior doesn't mean they are anything like us. So here's an idea. Maybe we should talk about deep learning products the same way we talk about modulars. Yes, I'm trying to compare AI to your synthesizer, but please hear me out. Remember all those days when you start patching from scratch in your Eurorack cave, building and expanding your blinking spaghetti into this truly impressive generative masterpiece? Everything is under your control until at some point you stick one more cable in a weird place and suddenly... The synthesizer starts doing its own thing and you have no clue what's really going on. You hear sounds you've never heard before and evolving melodies that seem to be improvised by some kind of a ghost in the machine. You're no longer in control and you love it. You feel like a wizard who just conjured something truly, truly special. You sit back, grab your wine glass, listen to ever-evolving sonic landscape and you can't shake off that wonderful feeling that your beloved Eurorack is now fully alive. And yes, you know it's just a machine, but in that moment, it doesn't really matter, does it? And this is the perspective I wanted to share with you guys. To me, GPT, Midjourney, and all other generative toys are not much different from Eurorack or VCV. They give us an infinite playground for exploration, discovery, and surprise. Just like you can patch from scratch to explore something new and unique, you can also type and prompt to explore AI dreams and hallucinations with curiosity, excitement, allowing yourself to be seduced by the illusion and surprised by the results. In other words, what I'm trying to say, AI is the new synthesizer you can play to generate new thoughts, ideas, images, and yeah, music and sound design are catching up quickly, I'm afraid, but that's another topic. I think I might even try to cover some of that stuff on this channel in the future. But for now, let's jump to point number two. AI is unreliable. Paul Pomeroy wrote, A big problem with ChatGPT at the moment is that it gives wrong answers with as much eloquence and sincerity as it does correct answers. By the way, Paul is a great guy. A couple of years ago, he made a really awesome tutorial on Behringer uh, 2600, which I shared with my students. Check out his channel. Um, and hey, 
Good to hear from you, Paul. What's up? So anyway, Paul describes how he tested GPT's counterpoint knowledge, and the results were quite disappointing. I'm not surprised. Back in December, I tried something much less challenging. I gave it twinkle, twinkle, little star, and asked it to rewrite it in a minor scale, and then spend the next 15 minutes arguing with GPT about the difference between F minor and F major, because for some reason, GPT tried to convince me that FAC is an F minor chord. I didn't give up and with persistence managed to teach GPT a harmony lesson until GPT finally realized its previous mistake, apologized profusely and admitted it doesn't really matter because, quote, I am a pre-trained language model and cannot learn or retain information from individual interactions. So yeah, AI is unreliable and it can't even learn. But this time instead of me ranting for another two minutes, I will simply share with you some excellent links that you should check out about the subject. First, you should definitely check out Ezra Klein podcast from January 6th, where he interviews Gary Marcus. Uh, This episode's title is A Skeptical Take on the AI Revolution, and I link it in the description. Seriously, it's fantastic, nourishing food for thought. Don't miss this one. I promise you will enjoy that conversation. You should also check out this video posted by Sendex recently where he's showing GPT writing another version of itself. He's trying to pretend he doesn't know anything about coding and just like in my video, GPT kept making mistakes. It was constantly screwing things up in his video. But by simply being persistent, he was able to achieve his goal. I think his example shows that if you're persistent, even with a significantly unreliable AI, you can already get a lot of mileage from a human-machine duet. And finally, here is yet another link. It's still in beta, but it shows how to complement GPT bullshit generator with a respected Wolfram Alpha computational intelligence. What they built there is a version of GPT that can recognize questions that require math, logical thinking, solid science, and real knowledge. And then it pulls a factual and reliable answer from Wolfram Alpha. It's pretty brilliant, and I think this could be the future, or maybe not, who knows. As history shows us, if you want to embarrass yourself in the eyes of your unborn great children, then all you need to do is put yourself on record and predict the future. So instead of predicting the future today, I will try to share my impressions about the current moment, about what's going on right now. And to me, it feels like that moment when you sit down in front of your modular synth, power's on, lights blinking, and you just stuck your first cable, connecting sine VCO to expert sleepers. You turn the volume up and you hear the test tone. So you know your rig is working and now it's time to finally grab some more patch cords, stick those jacks and see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.